Hi, paint pouring people. Today I'm gonna to do a spinning heart. It's one of my favorite techniques, but before we get started, I wanna talk about my setup. In case you haven't done this before, or anything that uh, I might be doing could be helpful to you. First and foremost, my numero uno is having plastic sheeting down on my painting table. Now this is just a hardware store item. You can get a roll of plastic sheeting. It's very inexpensive from the hardware store and put it down on your table. You don't need to buy all this other stuff. You don't need to buy a silicone mat or a bathtub or a, all this stuff. Just get yourself an inexpensive sh a roll of plastic sheeting from the hardware store. Uh, the thickness I use is six mil. When you go, you might find four mil, five mil, six mil. It doesn't really matter. I usually use a double layer and this plastic will last as long as you want it to last couple of years, whatever, and paint peels off of it and resin peels off of it. So it, it's really a good thing to use. It's a must have. Okay. Now the next thing I'm gonna use uh, for this is this is my cake decorating turntable. This is a, a quality restaurant supply item. You can get it if you have a, a restaurant supply near you or a cake decorating supply near you. You can get them there. This has some weight to it. Do not mistake this for the little plastic um, Lazy Susans. They don't spin. This has some ball bearings and it has a really, really nice spin. It, it stays, uh, it stays really nice. Now I have this covered in plastic to keep it clean in case I ever want to become a, take, a cake decorator, then I can just take the plastic off. This plastic here has been on here for a couple of years. It's just the paint buildup actually helps adhere your your um, canvas to it and everything. I also, I have one of these on my Amazon list in case you can't find one locally or in case you just like to shop on my Amazon list. All my favorite Amazon supply, all my favorite paint pouring supplies are on my Amazon list. So check it out. My Amazon supply list will be in the description below. Check it out. Now, next thing I'm, I'm gonna be using a 12 by 12 canvas. I have some tape to the back. It's just going to help hold the thing in place for when I get ready to spin. It's just a little roll of, of this, this masking tape. I put the kind I use on my Amazon list as well if you want to check it out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and press it down and center it the best I can. Just some slight pressure. Now we're ready to start using the paint. I, uh, today I'm using um, blue, a couple of blues and a green, just gonna be kind of a cool background. I'm gonna do a swipe. I'm using my very own Happy Medium paint ready to pour. It has everything in it that you need for a successful pour. And this is not on Amazon. This is only found on happymedium.fun. So if you're interested in my paint, I would really, really love it if you would check that out. But let's get started now on the technique. Just going for a swipe. So I'm gonna put down stripes of color. This is Southwest Turquoise. This is Moody Blue. This is gonna get kind of mixed in, so it's a little bit random. And I'm gonna put some green in. This is called Green Green. So I'm keeping it, the colors fairly simple, just a couple of blues and a green. And I'm going to use black as my swipe color. So. I'm gonna put it up here at the top. And I'm not looking for a perfect swipe here. I'm just getting a background going so I can do my spinning heart. There's some black there. I might put a little black down here just to make sure the black continues all the way. Again, it's just kind of whatever you want to do. Swiping is a pretty forgiving technique. 
Now I have my offset spatula that I'm gonna swipe with, so I'm gonna go into the black and swipe down all the way. See some nice cells coming up. Do a second swipe here. What I'm doing here is getting kind of uh, not only a background color, but an even layer for the heart spin I'm getting ready to do. And if there's any imperfections, it's gonna get spun anyway, so it's gonna change. It's pretty as it is. So now we're going on to the next piece of equipment. Okay, now for my heart shape, I'm gonna use white. So I'm gonna pour some white into a little paper cup. And the reason I'm using a paper cup instead of pouring out of the bottle is I can pinch it together and get a little more of a precision pour as opposed to the more general pour when it comes straight out of the bottle. So I'm going to, I have a little more in there that I need. Get rid of some of it. Okay, so I've just got about this much white. Now I'm gonna pour a heart shape and I'm gonna keep it relatively small. Every heart is different, and this, this may not be enough paint, but I'm gonna go ahead and spin it, because this is a forgiving technique. So we're going to spin it, but first, before you spin, this is your protection. This is my cardboard corral. Again, it's easily, it's easy, something you can easily make. It's just two flat pieces of cardboard that I cut to size and I have some clamps that I clamp the two ends together. You just wanna make sure it's big enough where it won't touch your uh, canvas when you spin it. And it just needs to be a few inches higher than your actual canvas. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and spin this now and see what happens. Okay couple of things. My, my background was a little deeper than what my white was. White has a tendency to sink. So I think in this case, I like the way this looks, but I want a little more white showing. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour some more. Like I said, this is a forgiving technique. You can mess with this until you get something that you like. But you can see how it grew too. So let's spin this and see what happens. Okay, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with what happened here when I added the extra white. Again, this is different than the previous ones I've done, but I guarantee you they all come out different. This one, the heart is basically the interior is, is creating the shape of the heart and the white is kind of almost the background now. I have done others where I get these white spikes. That's actually kind of what I was shooting for. But I do like this. I think it's really interesting. You've got some nice cells going on. Big ones down here, smaller ones up here. I really like this. And you know, the key to really almost any technique is to do a series, do a lot of them. I have done many of these hearts and they're all unique. They're all one of a kind. 
it's really a lot of fun. And I want to give you one warning. If you start doing these, you better have a lot of canvases on hand because you're going to want to do more. And pretty soon you'll have a series on your wall. So I hope this gives you a lot of ideas uh, for something you could try. It's a, it's a lot of fun. And if you like this video, well then smash the like button. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please check out my Amazon list for shopping supplies. If you want to try my paint, it's found at happymedium.fun. And also I have a great Facebook group called Paint Pouring People. Join us over there and have fun spinning. We'll see you next time. Happy pouring.